وَإِنْكُنْ تُمْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ وَلَمْ تَجِدُوا كَاتِبًا And if you are on some journey and you don't find any scribe, maybe the scribe is not there, the writer is not there, then the, the shohada are not available, you think that happened in, in journey. Nobody is, knows you that he can give evidence and he is ready to be a witness to any contract. وَإِنْكُمْ تُمْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ وَلَمْ تَجِدُوا كَاتِبًا فَرِحَانٌ مَقْبُوزًا then there should be a pledge in hand, that is what we call mortgage. Something of some property of that person that should come in the occupation of the, the person who is giving the debt. In hand, mortgage, makbuz. Farihanul makbuza. Fain amina baadukum baadun falyawadzi allazi utimina amanatahu waliyatakillaha rabbahu. But if one of you trusts the other, then the one who is trusted should deliver his trust and let him fear Allah, his Lord, and do not conceal testimony. Wala taktumu, wala taktumu shahada. Never conceal and hide testimony. Wama yaktumha, whosoever conceals or hides testimony, fainnahu asimun kalbahu. He is making his heart sinful. Wallahu bima ta'amaloon alim. And whatsoever you are doing, Allah knows it. Now we come to the last section, it's a very small section in its size, only three ayat, but most profound. And this will, we will see inshallah later on, this is the general case in most of the surah, surahs of the Quran, the ayat with which the surah begins and the ayat with which the surah ends, they are very profound. The ayat in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah. Alif Lam Mim Zalik Al Kitab Ula Ray Bafi Hudal Lil Muttaki Al Ladina Yuminuna Bil Ray Wa Yukimuna Salat Ama Mimma Radaklaum Bin Fikul Most Profound Whosoever wants to avail of the guidance of this book he will he must produce in his character these attributes these qualities and then only he will be really availing the the benefits of the guidance of Quran now here to end up these three ayat, they are very profound. The last two ayat about that, about these there is a tradition. These ayat were not revealed to Muhammad Wasallam on earth. They were presented to him as a gift for the Ummah on the night of Miraj, ascension to heaven. All the rest of the Quran descended from the heaven to the earth to be revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the last two ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah, Muhammad went up to the heavens in the Laylatul Isra. And there he was given these two ayat, last two ayat. And about these two ayat, the wordings in the hadith are that they are two treasures from the treasure beneath the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Taht al-Arsh. They are the two big prayers that were gifted for the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and given to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on the day of Miraj, on the day of Isra, on the night of Isra. Not the first, only the last two ayat. The first is, Lillahi maafis samawati wa maafil law. These wordings are included in the Ayatul Kursi also and they have been repeated so many times in the Quran. Everything, all that is in the heavens and that is on the earth belongs to Allah. He is the only rightful owner of everything in this world. We are not the owners, please mind it. We are the custodians. We are only under a wrong notion. We own, I own this house, I own this car, I own this body. No! We are only custodians. This is actually a, a sacred trust of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with us. We are only trustees and nothing else. Whether you disclose whatsoever is in your hearts and minds, this word nafs, it includes heart and mind both. Nafs, fi al What you have in your heart, what you have in your mind. 
whether you disclose it out to fu ho or you hide it conceal it you hasib kum billah allah will bring you forth to the task to the accountability he will you will have to account for it before allah subhanahu wa taala although you might be hiding it he knows what is in your heart so he will ask you about your intentions even wa in tumdu ma fi anfusikum aw tukhfuhu yuhasibkum billah fa yaghfiru liman yasha wa yu'adhibu man yasha then he will pardon and forgive whomsoever he wills whomsoever he will please and he will give the torment and the punishment to whomsoever he wills to whomsoever he pleases it is his exclusive authority this is a belief with the ahl sunnah allah subhanahu wa taala has the total authority if he punishes an innocent person he can do it he has the authority because he is malik he is owner he can do anything to what he belongs to him if he forgives the worst sinner it is his authority although we know he will punish the sinner and he will reward give good reward to people who did good good deeds but he has the authority he can do whatever he likes ya falullah ma yurid ya falullah ma yasha whatever he likes he he will do and he has the authority to do it lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi ard wa in tubdu ma fi anfusikum aw tukhfuhu yuhasibkum billah fa yaghfiru liman yasha wa yu'adhibu man yasha wallahu ala kulli shay'in qadeer allah has the authority over everything